This could actually become one of the most, if not the most expensive watch ever sold at auction. It's Paul Newman's Rolex Cosmograph Daytona, which he wore every day wow. between 1969 and 1984. He used it to keep lap times when he was racing cars. It's coming up for sale this week. Watch collectors say it could fetch between five and $10 million, maybe even more. It will hit the auction block Thursday at the winning icons auction held by Phillips in association with Box and Russo. Joining us is Aurel Box, the co-founder of Box and Russo. Aurel, thank you for joining us. It's the middle watch that you have in that tray that is the Paul Newman watch. What makes this watch, of all the famous people who had all the great watches, what makes that watch the watch to have? The Paul Newman Rolex isn't just a Rolex owned by a famous person, um, an actor, a politician. It's a watch that has created an entire market, the Rolex sports watch market, from which all the sports watches derive today in collecting. And this is a watch that I would consider the Adam and Eve of an entire movement. So when you say Adam and Eve, sir, are you saying that the whole watch collection industry, the whole vintage watch world sort of started with that? Uh, not, not quite. I mean, people collected clocks and pocket watches throughout the 20th century. Um, then, of course, the first wristwatches collected in the late 70s and 80s were the complicated gold Patek Philippe's, Audemars Piguet's, Vacheron Constantine. A stainless steel sports watch was not considered precious enough. It's just an entire new approach to collecting. And that watch, seen on Paul Newman's wrist for 15 years, yeah. has really inspired a new generation of collectors. Why, why did he stop wearing it in 1984? It's a beautiful story. In 1984, he offered this watch to James Cox, the consigner now, who then was Nell Newman's, Paul's daughter. Um, he wasn't wearing a watch, James, and one day he said, do you know what time it is? He said, no, Paul, I don't wear a watch. And I said, you need to have one. Just keep remembering winding it every morning, and here's a watch. So Paul Newman gave his Rolex to his <laughs> daughter's boyfriend? Absolutely. Um, they were, they were uh, a, a great couple. Um, eventually did not marrying, but right. remained absolutely best friends to date. So he's the guy who's selling it? Yes. <laughs> and he and Nell together will um, share the proceeds supporting oh, Nell's giving... foundation. Okay, for the, for the kids, the foundation for the kids? Um, for for, to... for uh, organic food, yeah. for... Um, uh, well, Nell's, Nell has a charity, which is separate from Paul Newman's own charity, but she has her own charity. Tell us about, you have some other watches there, you're selling a Patek and another, Ro a Patek, a Patek and another Rolex. What's the sort of collectible watch market like right now? Does it basically follow the art market or is it its own thing? And what's happening with values right now? The watch market for vintage collectors uh, wristwatches is in great shape today. Um, scholarship is, is at its best. Um, literature, the community is growing. Uh, there are many parallels with vintage motor cars, art, jewelry, wine, but it doesn't always go in parallel. So we see at the moment watches catching up. Um, contemporary art, if you, if, if you bought a basket 30 years ago, you would be much better off than, than having bought watches, but now we're really uh, catching up. Well, the last watch, the last time you were here, you brought that Patek Philippe, which we showed on this show, and it became the most expensive watch ever sold at $11 million. So we're, we're your good luck charm. Thank you. <laughs> the auction is what, Thursday? Thursday at 6 p.m. at the Phillips headquarters on Park Avenue. The viewing is open today, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, 10 till 6, and on Thursday until 2. Don't miss it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.